Power Query is a very excellent tool for data preparation. And it's not just excellent. Really, it has a couple of very amazing capabilities that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So I'll talk about five Power Query capabilities you probably did not know about. Number one is sort table headers alphabetically. So how do you sort the headings of your tables in alphabetical order? So that may be useful if you need to be able to find columns easily. At least you know they are sorted in alphabetical order. So Power Query can help us do that. So how do we go about that? So if I come to my Power Query window, I have this table that has 21 columns. So it has 21 columns here and uh, the first column is row ID, order ID. It doesn't have any sort of sorting. So we are going to try to sort these in alphabetical order. So to do that, make sure you're on the home tab. Then you come to this choose columns button and I'm going to say choose columns. So choose columns, I'm just meant to unselect some columns and leave out some, but I'm not going to do any of that. What I'll just do is I'll come to this little sort icon here. So I'm going to click on this icon and say, don't sort by the natural order. I want to sort by the names. So once it's sorted by names in alphabetical order, then I hit OK. And then you see the first column down is category. So that's number one. Number one is to sort table headers alphabetically. Number two is we can actually jump to a column. So we can jump to a column in Power Query without having to scroll through manually. As usual, I have 21 columns here, 21 columns, and I'm trying to go to a particular column and I don't really want to start scrolling across manually. I don't have the time to scroll across to say I'm looking for this column. I might not even have that much good eyes to be able to locate a column easily. So what I could do is I can use a keyboard shortcut of Ctrl G. So Ctrl G means go to a column in Power Query. So when I hit Ctrl G on my keyboard, I have the go to column dialog box. I have to go to column dialog box and from here I can just select the column I want to go to or maybe I can even type out. So once I put letter P, it already filters to where I have P. So if I put PR, I have product ID, product name and profit. So let's just say I want to jump to product name. So I'll just click on product name and OK. So I jump to product name. So Ctrl G basically is what you have when you come to this choose columns button here and you select go to column. So the keyboard shortcut to get here is Ctrl G. So that's number two. Number two is to quickly jump to a column in Power Query. So number three is to calculate age from a date column. So I'm gonna come back to my Power Query editor. I have this table that has a list of name, date of birth, and position. And what I want to do is I need an extra column here that's going to tell me the age of each of these guys here. And you should do that calculation from this date of birth column. So what I'll do is I'll make sure I select this date of birth column, which is it, which is a date column. Then I'll come to add column tab and then you see this date button here i'll click on this date button and i'll select age so i have a new column for age but what this does really is to give me the age as number of days so this is basically as a duration of how many days how many hours how many minutes and how many seconds but what i want is how many years instead of this duration so what i'll do is right click on the age column here and i want to transform that from what it is to total years so once i click on total years then i have this 
but maybe H shouldn't really have this decimal places if I don't like it. So what I'll do is I'll make sure I come back to the home tab first. Then why this column is selected, I can right click on this column. Then I'll come to transform and I'll go to round and I'll say round to zero decimal place. Okay. And I have the edges. Number four is auto arrange columns when combining queries. So let me explain what that means. So if I come to my query editor here, let me just delete this guy, delete, 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 and delete. Okay. So I have this table here that has name, date of birth, and position. I have another table called midfield here that has position, name, and date of birth. So when you look at these two queries, you see that they basically have the same column headers. It's just the arrangement that is different. So this one has name, date of birth, and position, but this other one has position, name, date of birth. So the first thing here is the name. The first thing here is the position. And the first thing here in the third one is the date of birth. So three different things name position and date of birth so the three columns have been arranged in different orders and now we want to combine these three so to combine is basically i'll come to my home tab i'll come to this combined group of buttons here and i'll select append queries so let me just use append queries as new to create a separate query so append queries as new i want three or more tables I want the defense, I want the midfield, and I want the attack. So I want to add these three tables together to become one. I'm appending them. So when I hit OK, what I have as my new query has now automatically matched what is coming from each of the tables to the correct headers. Right? So defense had name first midfield had position first attack had date of birth first everything is neatly arranged with the names in the correct order date of birth in correct order and position in correct order number five is to use ampersand to combine tables so if i want to do the same append so i'm going to come back here to my query so I want to do the same append here and I really don't want to use this option of append queries. As you can see from the M that was generated from here, that it's used the M function table.combine to create that appended table. But now I want to use ampersand to do this same kind of append. So what I'll do is I'm going to come to my home tab new source and i'll select a blank query so this is going to be equals to defense ampersand midfield midfield ampersand attack and i hit enter So using the ampersand basically is going to do the same kind of append and that brings us to the complete list of five things that you may not know that power query has the capacity or capability to perform if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel kindly subscribe right now so you can always receive all our updates